So in the early 90s, stake groups were doing really incredible work, but often they were working in isolation. In 1997, a bunch of those leaders got together at the Highlander Center in Tennessee to form what became the Equality Federation. They wanted to be able to support each other, learn from each other, and chart a new course forward for the movement. When the movement was first born, we had Articles of the Equality Confederation, which is how we ran the movement for a while. But then people thought maybe a confederation wasn't strong enough, so um, we redid things and now we have the Equality Federation. Did you know that? Is that that's not a real thing, is that? <laughs> no, that's not a real thing. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's not true. <laughs> The Equality Federation is a strategic partner and movement builder to state-based organizations winning equality in the communities we call home. That is not something that just rolls off the top. The Equality Federation is a strategic partner and movement builder to state-based organizations winning equality in the communities we call home. I mean, that was beautiful. We're about to experience a great victory when marriage equality come, comes raining down on us like so many rainbow unicorns. And yet, there's so many things yet to do. Right now, the movement is multiracial, multi-ethnic, um, constantly moving, never sleeping across the South, and it is all the way live. We're getting some really historic victories in a very short period of time, and so we're at a, at, a, at, a, at a turning point in terms of deciding what exactly are we as a movement? What exactly does it need to move past marriage? It's a question that we face in New York all the time. I always get some, you know, some young thing come up to me and say, oh, I thought we already had everything in New York. Girl, please. Girl, please. Uh, for almost the last year and a half or so, the Federation has been MAP's key partner in our non-discrimination messaging research initiative. The Federation has been an amazing resource and partner in this work. Um, they've brought a real-world sensibility into our research work that's based on what's going on right now on the ground in the states. I've been able to take some of the best practice from around the country and deliver it right to the communities that we work in every day. It makes me feel like a part of something bigger than myself and my position. We just, we have people that we can call um, that, that have done this before. The Equality Federation has fought these battles across the country and, and this is not their first rodeo, it's their 5,000th rodeo. Working with the Equality Federation has been an amazing opportunity, not only for the Mass Trans Political Coalition, but for me as a new executive director. There's a need for a national movement, and I think that the Equality Federation, um, in many ways, is the glue that is going to help um, build and sustain and grow that movement. The greatest thing about the Equality Federation is that whether you say Jens, y'all, or you, you are represented and included in the Equality Federation. It's always reassuring to know that Equality Federation has our back. You all know what it feels like from day to day to work in the LGBTQ movement. The ups, the downs, the trials, the travails, the immense victories, the challenges. And my God, I love you for it. I would call the Equality Federation the Starship Enterprise of the LGBTQ movement, going where no organization has gone. Everyone at the Federation, um, they really are some of the best minds um, doing this work right now. We believe it's, it's menacing in the right way because there's power there. <laughs> A helpful support network, definitely call it that. I would call the Equality Federation one of the greatest things that's 50 plus. And I don't mean in age, but I mean in members and in reach. They're brilliant, they're funny, they are amazing partners, they are great fellow road warriors, they make us think, they make us laugh, they really just add such great value to everything that we're doing. I really do appreciate the staff. I think the staff are, are phenomenal. They're a, a roster of superstars who generally seem to like each other. A big part of that might be because they're spread across all four corners of the country, but... On that note, I would also call the Equality Federation the Obi-Wan Kenobi of the LGBTQ movement. 
uh, teaching LGBTQ organizations the ways of the force. For me, the Equality Federation is uh, like Will Smith to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Um, the Equality Federation is, is like Whitney Houston to 90s music. The Equality Federation is, is the very air that I breathe, is the love of my life, is the wind beneath my wings. I think that, that says it. That says it all. I think I tried to say it all. Anyway. It, yeah.